If we were to double click our Python file, it would just open in an editor, but it wouldn't do anything with the code that we put inside. Why is that? Well, it's because Python is an interpreted language. This means we have to interpret it into machine code, and we haven't run the interpreter yet. There are three main ways to translate source code into machine code. Compile it, interpret it, or a combination of both. Compile, interpret. Let me give you a real world example. Say you need to write a letter to someone who speaks Mandarin, but doesn't speak English. What would you do? You could first write it in English, then use a translation service to convert your letter into Mandarin and mail it. The other person would never see your original letter, only the one that was in Mandarin. That's basically what compilers do. They take your high-level programming language and turn it into an executable that contains low-level machine code. This way, users can run your code on their machine without ever needing your original source code. Now, the second option for sending our letter is to send it to them in English. Then they could have a friend who speaks English read each line of the letter first and tell them what it means in Mandarin. Every time our Chinese friend needs to read the letter, the interpreter will need to come back over and reinterpret the letter. This is essentially what computer interpreters do. They process your source code each time it's run, line by line, and it's up to the other user to have the needed interpreter available on their machine. Now, this is of course an oversimplification of both compilers and interpreters. They perform complex functions that help to optimize the size, speed, and security of your source code, but it helps to convey the general idea of how they differ. Typically, languages like C, C++, and Objective-C are known as compiled languages, whereas PHP and JavaScript are known as interpreted languages. And finally, Java, c -sharp, and Python use the combination approach. Nowadays, the line between compiling and interpreting is a bit blurry, as many languages have some variants of both. The key thing to keep in mind is that you may need to perform additional steps to get your code to run on your or someone else's machine.